Welcome to the IP Vanish Connection Setup Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up an open VPN connection on Windows 7. First, we need to download and install the OpenVPN graphical user interface for Windows. This will allow us to connect to IP Vanish servers using OpenVPN. To get started, open your favorite web browser and visit the link below in the video's description to download the latest version of the OpenVPN client. On the download page, you will see the download links for the latest version of the client at the top. We are interested in the Windows installer links. You will see a 32-bit installer and 64-bit installer. You need to download the correct installer based on your version of Windows installed on your computer. If you are unsure whether your computer is running 32-bit or 64-bit, click your Windows Start button, hover over my computer on the right-hand side of the Start menu, right-click and choose Properties. In the next window that appears, find where it says System Type. It will either read 32-bit or 64-bit. Moving back to your web browser, click the link to download the correct Windows installer. Once the download finishes, click on the file to launch the installer. Be sure to click Yes when the User Account Control dialog appears. Next, be sure to install the client using all the default settings. Uncheck Show Read Me at the end and click Finish. After the install finishes, we need to download the IPVanish configuration files that tells the OpenVPN client which servers are available to connect to. A link to the config files will be found below in this video's description. After the config zip file download finishes, browse to your downloads folder, select the config zip file, and then click the extract files button found at the top of the window. Next, click Browse and find the OpenVPN config directory. The OpenVPN config folder is found in different places depending on whether or not your computer is running 32-bit or 64-bit windows. Look in this video's description to find out where to extract the config files on your computer. For our example, we are running 64-bit, so we will browse to the correct OpenVPN config folder location and click Extract. If prompted, click Continue to allow administrative access to copy the config files. After the extraction of the config zip file is finished, a window containing all the server config files will appear. The OpenVPN client only allows up to 50 config files, or 50 servers, to be displayed in the available connections list, so delete the server config files that you don't want to connect to. Be careful not to delete the file ca.ipvanish.com or the CRT files. Now that the OpenVPN client is configured, it is time to test our new OpenVPN connection. To get started, click the Windows Start button, then type OpenVPN in the search box. Find the OpenVPN GUI icon in the list, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. When prompted, click Yes. The client must be run this way or it will not work properly. After the client has started, Find the OpenVPN icon down at the bottom right in the taskbar and right-click on it. Next, hover over the server you want to connect to and click Connect. Finally, enter your IPVanish username and password when prompted and click OK. Once you have successfully connected, you will see a connected notification on the bottom right of the taskbar. That concludes our OpenVPN connection setup tutorial for Windows 7. For more videos on how to set up VPN, be sure to visit the VPN setup section of our website and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, and like this video. To get answers to your VPN questions or get IPVanish related support, email us at support at ipvanish.com. Thanks for choosing IPVanish VPN and thanks for watching.